Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Topps' 75th anniversary celebration. Woo! I am so excited. I hope you guys are excited as I am. Let's get started, okay? We are gonna do a short meditation, mindfulness moment, and then we're gonna do a little bit of chair yoga to get our stretch on before we continue the rest of the party today. So whether you're at headquarters with everyone in Milwaukee at Topps, HQ, or if you are streaming this at together as a group or solo at home, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Rachel Warner, Topps' fitness and nutrition editor. Okay, everybody, so one of the things I want to show you, so we have our chair here. We're not, we're not gonna do anything getting up and down on the ground today, but I wanted to share with everyone just because I'm all about safety first. If for some reason you feel good having your feet planted on a mat in front of you, that's fine. Just make sure your chair is not on your yoga mat in any way. Not only for today's workout, for any time you're working out doing chair yoga or doing any like Pilates or any other workout where you think you might need some assistance, make sure the chair is flat on the floor and the yoga mat is not underneath the chair in any way. Okay, that's just a safety thing. You also want to make sure you have a nice sturdy chair that's not going to be easy to tip over. It's on a level surface, so let's make sure we're all set up good. If you have friends by you, make sure you have enough space so if you're stretching from one to side, side to side, we're not like clanging into each other unless you just want to like, do a nice handshake or give a high five, okay? So I would say four to six feet is a good distance. And the other thing with mats, just always make sure that you have the grip side down. Sometimes with darker color mats, it can be hard to tell. I'm a big fan of buying reversible mats, which means both sides have the same grip material. Again, we always want to make sure we're going to be safe in regards to being steady on our feet and we're on a non-slip surface, okay? So now we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and sit in my chair <laughs> and just take a deep breath. Again. Make sure your shoulders are nice and relaxed. I'm kind of sitting like halfway on my chair, but again, always from so you're always welcome to sit all the way back. But I want to make sure that your spine is straight, more strained, you're not curving backwards or over arching your back, leaning forward. Okay, so making sure we're nice and centered. Your arms can rest either in your lap in a neutral position with the hands where there is one palm kind of resting the other one, that's called a mudra. Or you can also just have your arms gently resting on the armrest on your sides if that's comfortable or just kind of just relax next to you. Go ahead and begin with your eyes soft or with your eyes closed. I just want you to draw another deep breath in. Hold at the top for one, two, three, and then exhale. All the way out. Again, inhale. Holding at the top for one, two, three. Go ahead and exhale. Once more, inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and allow your eyes to open. I also just want you to kind of do a quick body scan. And by quick, I mean, I want you to go at your own pace, but just starting from the tips of your toes, I want you to go ahead and just start to observe how your feet feel against the floor. Like, are all of your toes flat? Maybe the big toe is raised. Maybe the, the pinky's not fully in contact. But I want you to notice, how does the ground feel underneath your feet? Is the ground warm? Does it feel cold? Can you feel the texture of the socks that you're wearing? And then I want you to bring that same attentiveness to how you're feeling in your body and the space that you're currently in. Drawing up from your feet, think about that your shins, the back of your calves, do your legs feel tense or tight at all? How are your knees feeling this morning? Did you notice any achiness? Are you sitting in the chair, maybe when you walk into the room? Do you feel maybe strength? Do you feel like I said your legs feel like more warm? Like in the even if you're folding, does it feel tight on your legs? Is it relaxed? And then again, letting that awareness spread up your quads, so the top of your thighs, all the way up to your hips. I know I'm somebody who keeps a lot of tightness in my hips. 
when I do yoga like I did earlier this morning before taking today's workshop um, is, is the hips, right? Like I keep a lot of t like tension there. And so notice even sitting in your chair, are you slouching down? Are you starting to arch even if you were sitting up straight in the beginning? Or are you clenching your abs? You know, it's good to have your core engaged always when you're sitting, but you really don't want to feel like you're keeping tightness inside. So again, there's a there's a, there's a gentle firmness there, but I don't want you gripping so much that again that you're slouching back or over arching your spine. And then allowing again that same awareness to spread out through your chest. You know, how do your shoulders feel today? Do they feel open? Again, some people also can keep a lot of tension. I would say my shoulders and the back of my neck is where also I'll keep a lot of tension. We'll get there in a minute as far as relaxing, but just noticing right now, how do you feel? And then allowing that awareness to spread up your neck, all the way up the sides of your face, your jaw, does it feel clenched, relaxed into your head, right? Do we, you know, some people are prone to headaches or migraines. That's what my sister is one of those folks. So just noticing again, how you feel. And all sensations don't necessarily be negative. Again, maybe you feel energized this morning. Maybe you feel excited for today. And that's amazing. And then just noticing where those sensations creep up in your body, right? I know me, definitely I'm very expressive with my face. So when I'm excited or happy, like I feel like my whole face just, I can feel the glow up. I can feel my face feeling a little bit up, you know, or as I'm talking with my hands, right? They're very active. So my hands obviously are very relaxed right now. But allowing that awareness to come but also kind of ease you into relaxing into your body fully and being present in this moment. Now I want you to take a deep breath in. Arms raise up to the ceiling. Try and draw your shoulders down if possible. And if stretching your arms up high causes some tension or is hard for you, it's totally fine to let those arms come forward in a sweep and then pull in. So three more. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. I want you to push out this time. Inhale. Exhale. If your arms are going up, what I want you to do is pull in. Inhale. Turn the palms backward. Exhale. Draw it down. Again, inhale, exhale. Remember any version you're doing, inhale, exhale. Once more, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay, I cheated once more. Inhale, exhale. Now I want you to push up. Again, drawing yourself up from the hip up to your head, straight spine, and then I just want you to turn gently. You can allow your arm to sweep all the way behind you. I can also just let your hands rest, one on the front of the armrest and one slightly on the back of the chair. If that's too much of a twist, go ahead and feel your, like your hand rest at your hip, that back hand. Or again, you can extend all the arm all the way out behind you, that back arm. Inhale, exhale, coming back center. We're gonna do that again on the other side. Inhale, remember twist. Twist, 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 do it gently, but also trying to keep the rest of your body as facing forward as possible. Again, arms can rest gently, or you can extend that arm back, the back arm, or have it rest at your hip. I also, I'm gonna show you a modification. I want you to continue to do this a few side to side. If anybody wants to stand up and kind of sit back, Either don't place your bottom on your chair, but actually you can be balancing on your heels for anybody who feels like they want to get a little bit more mobile. They're getting excited. Inhale, arms come down, extend the arm behind you. Exhale. And again, it's even okay to keep the hand, one hand can stay forward, the other can stay at your hips. You can keep your arms up. And again, this might feel a little bit more like intense. Arm behind you. So then inhale, come up. Exhale, sink back down. Arm goes behind, remember? Arm can stay forward, back hand can be a hip. You can also keep arms up. And remember one to the side. So we're gonna do two more, no matter where you are, if you're still in the chair, or if you decide to stand up and transition. You can also split this movement in half if you would like. 
some in a chair, some standing up. One more each side. Arms up. And then if you're standing up, I want you to sit back down. Perfect. Inhale, arms sweep up or come out forward. Exhale. We're gonna do a stretch with our legs. I want you to bring your right knee up towards your chest. And then you're gonna gently cross that right ankle on top, let it just rest on top of that left thigh. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale it out. Now this might be enough of a stretch for you again. If you're super tight in your hips or you have mobility issues with any of your lower limbs, this might be more than enough of a stretch. Just allowing that left hand to rest on top of that right ankle and your right hand to rest gently on top of that right knee. If you want a little more, you can gently start to lean forward and then allow your arms just to kind of hang in front of you, letting the head and neck drop. Making sure no matter what position you're in, your bottom is still firmly planted on the chair. You shouldn't be leaning so far to one side that one of your hips or one of your bum, one side of your bum is kind of off the chair in any way, shape, or form, okay? So making sure if you, that's the case, then you're going too far forward into the stretch or you're not sitting centered enough, okay? So I want you all just to continue to do that. Now, I'm gonna show you what this looks like standing up. I'm gonna bring my right knee up, I'm gonna cross it over, and again, this is another stretch you can, you're welcome to do standing up if you'd like. Another way you can modify this would be to stand to the side of your chair if you wanted to be standing up and wanted some stability, and then, so left hand would be on the side of the chair, or the back of the chair is gonna be even more stable so it doesn't tip, and then you would sit down this way. You could even lean forward if you felt super stable. So I want you to do that at your own pace before you switch sides. Hold that for three to four breaths, maybe even five if you're really feeling it. And then I want you to switch sides, which will look like we're gonna pick that left knee up, bring it into our chest. Keep your core in where you're sitting center, not leaning back. And then we're crossing that left ankle over that right thigh. Inhale, exhale. And remember, this could be more than enough with the right hand resting on top of the left ankle and the left hand on top of, or sorry, yep, yeah, on top of the left knee. Inhale. Exhale. And remember, you're welcome to lean forward into this if you would like. You really feel a lot of stretch. Letting it go. Remember, keep holding this one push here. I'm gonna stand up and demo the opposite side for anyone who wants to do it standing up. Remember, you're gonna gently bring that left knee up. You can start to sink down and cross, holding onto the chair if you need it for balance and stability. And sometimes it can just be nice because it allows us to sink a little lower. But if you feel, it's one thing to feel discomfort, but you should never feel a sharp shooting pain. If you ever feel sharp shooting pain, that means you've gone too far and you want to ease back out. Okay, so inhale, and exhale, go ahead and take a seat down. Remember, you can even let your head and neck drop if that's helpful, or you want to increase the stretch even more. And then you want to stand back up. Arms up. Arms down. Remember, holding the stretch for three to five breaths, wherever you're at, and then you're going to meet me back center. Okay. Another stretch you can do would be taking your right knee up if anyone of that felt like too much. And then you can just try and hold either, I would say, you know, it doesn't have to go all the way out, but try and sit up as straight as you can and then press that leg. If you see where you can go, maybe you can straighten your right leg. Maybe it just bends a little, you can able to straighten it a little bit, but really allowing yourself to push your right foot against your hands, right? And then that also gets a little core engagement. So you never have too much core exercise. It helps to keep our back strong. And then hold that for three to five breaths, right? Remember taking deep, full breaths. I'm somebody, especially if I get into an intense stretch, I'll start to like clench, all right? So always breathing. Steady inhales and exhales, trying to keep them the same length if and whenever possible, okay? When in doubt, that's a good breathing tip. 
And then when you're ready, switch sides, bringing that left knee in. Remember, sitting up as straight as you can, then you're gonna grip your foot. Maybe it's just with one hand. Maybe it's just the left, right? Maybe it's just with the right hand. Either side. It doesn't have to be with both hands. So you modify as you see fit, but then allowing you just to gently, like I said, great if you can straighten the leg all the way, but you don't have to. Just look, even just creating that tension of the left foot pressing into your hands, okay? Breathing. Hopefully you guys have already done your three to five breaths, but we're releasing when you're ready. We're gonna do one more deep breath and all together. Arms come up, stretch, 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 shoulders down, and exhale. Remember, if taking the arms up is too much, press it out, and then you can pull it in. So remember, that looks like inhale, exhale. Let's do two more, inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, exhale. I hope you all enjoy the rest of today's celebration. I wanna close with a final short meditation where I just wish you all, as you just settle in the stillness. Remember, you're welcome to go ahead and repeat these workout at any time. We're hopefully gonna put this up on my top YouTube channel, so stay tuned for that. But go ahead and just allow yourself just to sit. If you wanna sit back into your chair now and just completely relax, that's great. Eyes open or closed. But I want us all just to spend the last few moments here just breathing into ourselves and welcoming in a sense of not only joy today, but also celebration, okay? Joy, celebration, and peace for the world. We all need this. We all need community. This is why we're a part of the TOPS community. We all need support. We all need forgiveness. We all need love. So maybe we all go into the rest of not only today's celebration, but the rest of this week, or next week, I should say, since the weekend, and the month and the rest of this year, and hopefully the beginning of 2024, just bringing a lot of light and joy and hope to ourselves and to others, okay? So thank you for being a part of our amazing wellness community. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Take a final deep breath in with me and then exhale, let it out. I'm so happy you're all here. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you all, and we will see you soon.